Hello, my name is Luis Arroyo, and this is an overview of the motion and design unit for the fourth grade. The motion and design unit has an emphasis on designing and building, which ties into engineering components. This unit provides students an opportunity to explore the physics of motion and to apply those concepts to technological designs. The unit is divided into four sub-concepts. The product of technological design must meet certain specifications as described in a technical drawing. This is part of concept one. In this particular concept, there are two lessons. And each lesson should take you about 45 minutes. Now, assuming that you see your classes two times a week, this particular concept will take you approximately one week. The position and motion of an object may be changed by a force, such as pushing or pulling, is the second concept. This concept has three lessons, and it should take you about two weeks. Again, assuming that you see your students two times a week. The third concept, the forces acting on a vehicle include different forms of energy that act as driving and resisting forces. This particular concept has six lessons, and it should take you approximately four weeks to complete. The last concept, technological designs and products may be evaluated in terms of their cost as well as their scientific and technological efficiencies. There are five lessons of this concept. In addition to the teacher's binder and unit, the science department has prepared student learning outcomes for the teachers. The student learning outcomes can be found at the BPS Science Weebly. The address is bpsscience.weebly.com. Let's take a look at this site right now, please. So this is the welcome page for the Weebly. The first link will take you to the student learning outcomes. As you can see, there are uh, student learning outcomes for all the grade levels. This document down here will show you how to make sense of the uh, outcomes. As you can see, there is a lot of information in this document. You'll be able to easily find the state standards associated with the unit, the connections to the close reading, as well as common writing assignments. These two columns will help you with the pacing of the unit as you move along. If you want to know when you are scheduled to be teaching this unit, you can find that information in the top corner. On the next video, I will help you to set up the unit for the first time, and I will explain how to deliver the first two lessons.